As you drive between Mammoth Mountain and Crowley Lake, did you know that you're driving through the heart of a prehistoric supervolcano? The volcanic eruption that took place here was an explosion that dwarfed the one on Mount St. Helens in Washington by more than 2,000 times in power and size, leaving behind a 200 square mile crater called a caldera. When the Long Valley supervolcano erupted, it belched out billions of tons of superheated ash, gas, and rock several miles into the sky. Dave Wagner, a retired geologist from the California State Geological Survey, explains not all of the ash stayed close to home. There was ash that traveled as far east as Kansas, or it traveled as far north as Wyoming, as far south as covered nearly all of Arizona and New Mexico, and did cover all of uh, Utah, Colorado. A good place to see an example of this is to the southeast of Crowley Lake. Those salmon-colored bluffs, known as the Bishop Tuff, are cooled deposits of silica-rich ash, lightweight pumice, and other volcanic debris. And although the Long Valley eruption took place hundreds of thousands of years ago, a reservoir of hot magma still lies below the caldera and continues to bubble with life as it heats the underground water feeding local hot springs. <laughs>